Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an after-action report of Lion Rampant by Osprey Games. So let's get started. Uh, Lion Rampant is not a new game, and I filmed this video forgetting that I hadn't followed my usual custom of doing a how to play first. So there isn't a lot of description and explanation of game rules on the actual video. Apologize for that confusion. Uh, also, strictly speaking, we're not playing Lion Rampant in its usual sense. Lion Rampant, as many of you will know, is a game created to do medieval gaming. And what we're playing is a expansion that I found on the on the webpage for a Lion Rampant. With a, there's a bunch of alternative and expansions and other choices for the game. And um, what I found was Land Wasters in Raven Feeders. This is a expansion to put Lion Rampant backwards into the Dark Ages. And in fact, we're going to be playing this game set in the very beginning of the Dark Ages. With, shortly after the fall of Rome in maybe 400 or 500, involving Romano-Brits and early Saxons. The scenario that we're running is fugitive. The Saxons are trying to reclaim a hostage that the Romano-Brits have been holding that has escaped into the woods, and uh, they have to find him and get him off the table. So, that all being said, let's go to the gaming table. I'm going to start by trying to activate... My javelineers on the road there. They activate on a five for a move. They don't activate. Uh, using my command skill though, I think I'm in 12. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try that again. Okay, made it that time. Seven. The javelineers move 12. I'm gonna go and try to activate these guys then to move. They activate also on a five, just barely. They only move 10, but they, actually they're not even gonna move 10 because they're in mm -hmm. rough ground. Mm -hmm. There's way too much terrain on this table, I think. Mm. And my other group of uh, heavies also activating on a five. Look at that. Another five. Also moving slowly. Technically, three inches. The game has a rule that limits no unit can be more than three inches from any other unit, including friendlies. And lastly is my bowman. Uh, five. I gotta move over this way because I'm kind of close to violating that rule. It's easy in the beginning when everyone is jammed up together. Your go. So we're gonna start with the archers. You may make it. They move in eight. The unpainted archers. Mm, yeah, partially. Mm, let's go more this way. My spearmen. My yeah. upper class. <laughs> they make it. They move six. Truth be told, they should probably head the woods and search. This archer group, of course, you're going to be able to, since you can move so much faster than me, you are going to have an advantage in being able to search more. Well, almost more everything quickly. is on your side of the river. That is true. The you river have to is only river. passable at the ford. That's true. And uh, you've got units that you've got two units that ignore the terrain. I do not. These guys are going to move the lower class spearmen. They make it. All right, so no challenges, no rallying. 
go straight to activations. I'm going to try to activate the Javaliers coming down the road because they're in the road. They activate on a five. They get it. I'm sorry. These guys have skirmish. They do not have the free movement thing. So you've got two units that ignore the train and I have none. Okay, I was making the same mistake we made yesterday. Skirmish is not... Fleetfoot. Skirmish is that thing that lets you right. move and shoot. Fleetfooted is, I believe, oh, what I've got. Yeah. I'm going to try to activate the first of the companions. I'm going to try to get them into the farm, I think. Or head that way. They're not going to get there. Because they're in the woods. Or in the, the field. Yeah. For those of you watching, we're calling the rocks impassable. The woods in the farm and the um, fields are rough. I'm going to try to roll again because he can. I got it that time. So those trees too? Yep. Okay. The trees in the forest. Okay. okay, so he activates as my last group. They're also moving slowly. These fields are annoying. Well, it helps even us out because I've got the slower movement. I'm going to start with these archers over here. Uh, no, it's your movement. Are you within 12 inches of your oh. boss? Mm, probably not. No way off. No. So, you go. In this game, if you fail an activation roll, you lose your turn. That is one of the most annoying things about the game. We are experimenting today with a trick I've seen some people use. Both commanders have commander as a option. Commander allows you to re-roll once per turn a failed activation roll as long as it's within 12 inches of your leader. Because I'm giving everybody that, they also chose a leadership skill. Well, I rolled actually for a leadership skill for each. The Saxons have Sly and the Romano Brits have Braveheart. I'm going to try to move. I'm going to activate it for a move. My uh, skirmishing javeliners there. I make it, and they're going to go into those trees. They're going to go into their first rough area. I need to order more of these things. I really like these, this guy's bases, mm -hmm. the tree tree bases. They're very handsome. They're, they're kind of pricey if you buy bunches of them, though. The defender, he's your fugitive. Great. He's, he's somebody that we're holding. Mm -hmm. So he's got away from us, but he's actually trying to get to you. I'm going to try to move my uh, secondary group companions there. They're still a little bit in the woods, so I'm only going to move uh, the five inches again. But not next time. Next time they're going to fly. And these guys also in the woods, but they don't, they can't go very far anywhere. I'm going to have to use my command ability at that time. And we're going to stand here in the crowd. There's Arthur. And lastly, on a five, my mounted archers, my mounted companions with bows. That's what I really should be calling them because that's really what they are. Some of you who play the game may be confused by some of the terms we're using. We are actually playing a variation of Lion Rampant uh, called Land Wasters and Raven Feeders. That is, it's actually written by the author of the game and it was down off of his uh, forum. But it uh, backdates the uh, Dragon Rampant rules to the Dark Ages. All right, it's your turn. Okay. We're going to start with the upper class Spearmen. Thank God, make it. So they can go six, and they're just going to basically step into the woods. Or at least one will be in the woods. It gives them an inch into the woods. So they're half inch into the woods. One die. Yeah. Nope. So we're going to start with these guys mm -hmm. heading to here. 
They make the they make just make it to go. But they go eight, so and they, they and they ignore are, the terrain. Yeah, and they are in the woods. Because they have fleet of foot. Alright, so they're going to get to search. Come on, find him. No. I'm gonna try to activate that unit there. I need a five. Ten. I mean, uh, not activating. I'm, I'm skirmishing. So I needed a seven, not a five. So they can go six on a skirmish. I may, still, I may be out of range. That, that's probably out of range. What two range? Six. Mm. Yeah, you're definitely over six. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Oh well, I'm gonna move these guys here. They do activate on a five. Six. They only go 10 inches, because armor. Splash, splash, splash. Okay, I'm gonna try to activate these guys here. Got an eight. They can't really go that far because the road's blocked again. That bottle up. The last group I have are my archers there. They're going to activate on five. I got an 11. I don't have a target over here, so I'm going to come over this direction. I could go farther than this, but I can't be more than three from that other unit, so just to there. Now it's your turn. I'm going to start by... I'm going to start with them. The archers in the trees. The archers in the trees. <laughs> oh, just made it. The terrain doesn't bother them, so that's right there. These guys are going to move out. They're probably fives. Yes. So they go six, they only go six inches though. Uh, these guys are going to, uh, my lower class spearmen. Uh, are going to move out. So shoot on seven. Come on, we really need a seven. Yes, we can shoot. So it's going to be 12 d6. 12. And yeah, it was on a five. I have six that came in. Um, that hurts. Are those guys threes or? No. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh my God. Are those guys One, threes two, or three, four, five. You killed that whole unit. If these guys hadn't slaughtered them, these guys were going to head towards them. So I'm going to try to activate these guys in the in the Ford. That's a eight. I just think I'm only going to get chomped up. That's why I, I think the only way I can actually win this game is if there's a time limit. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm very unlikely to get to the farmstead. You're perfectly likely to get to the farmstead if there's no time limit. I'm going to try to activate Arthur and his group. I get a seven. There, I, I should be saying what I'm activating for, but I'm just moving. It's all I can do. Splish, splish, splash. The archers there. They're going to try to activate. Uh, I failed, but I think I'm within 12 of, yeah. 
All right, that's my turn. Who are you activating? Uh, these archers. For uh, seven? No. They are well beyond 12 inches. Oh. For five. And they made it. Yeah, no, there's no limit to turn length. These archers? Mm hmm. Well, we know that's less than eight. They're just kind of these little tiny green blocks. I love this thing. <clears throat> These guys, my upper class spearmen. Nope, you go. That was a four. All right, I'm going to try to activate my heavies there. They activate on a five. I got an 11, so five is no problem. I'm going to lose that race. That's okay, All right? Unless I don't make my roll. Group in the road there. They have to be on fives. Got a seven. Could go all the way to there, but I don't want to do that. Wise choice. And the archers activate on five. I got an eight. They can only go up ten. They're not. They are heavy dudes. The archers over here on this side. Come on, come on. Yes. <sighs> Alfred Whip, are you in here? Roll a die, mm -hmm. a four or better. Mm -hmm. Nope, he is not there. These guys, who are the lower class, maybe they got their five. We're well, gonna have to deal with you, even though the likelihood of us doing much against you is slim. We are the less sacrificial first group. Upper class spearmen. Oh, wait. Archers are deadly. Yeah, but they're easily killed is the problem. And you're very close to mine now. I'm not expecting them to make it out of there. These guys are going to move. You nope. I think what I want to do is, is charge them. Our attack is the rule. So they attack on a five. So I'm going to roll for the five. Five, just barely. But you outnumber me. And I am better at defense than offense. Yep. But these guys are armor three, right? Yes. Yeah. I hit on the four. And I hit on a four. Do you? Yep. Oh. Okay, so your armor is four? Three. All right. Uh, well, it's the same either way. So I take one of your guys out. And I take, what is yours, three? Ours is three. Then two. Yeah, see? That's what I was referring to. Um, so now I have to roll a morale. I'm down two. My courage is four. No problem with that. All right, my courage is four. I'm down one. I'm okay. But I have to retreat. Oh, my unit's like half wiped out. I don't think this game works with cavalry. Cavalry's too brittle. Yeah, I agree. Because there's only six cavalry. figures. So I just lost two figures, and I'm close to being at half, half strength. And my group's all cavalry. 
I'm going to try to move this unit. Mm -hmm. They move on a five. I got it. Oh, that's wise. Didn't see you doing that. Archer boys, they activate on a five. I missed it, but they're within 12 of the boss. Did not miss it the second time. Uh, we're going to go behind the rock here. What's the rule again for attacking? How far can I move? Half? It's, you know, it's your normal move. So I could attack them. Sure could. It's just I can only hit on a five. I'm going to give you a hint. Uh -huh. You're going to have to attack them. I ain't going anywhere. Attacking you when you go on the defensive doesn't do me any good. And you can't stay on the defensive. You can get your archers over and start shooting into my flank, and then i got to do something. But right now, I can just sit here Hi. and make you come to me. But if you could get your archers in the position to shoot at me, you could. I'd have to deal with them. I couldn't ignore them. Let's start with them. My command element. Yep. I don't think my archers can do. My mounted archers can countercharge. My mounted archers can't do this skirmish move, which is a really good thing to be able to do. These guys are going to try and activate. Everybody's heading cross country. Skirmish again. How far? Do, do I move? Skirmish is half move. You half have to roll move. a seven to be able to do it, no matter right. who it is. And then a half move, okay. and I can only shoot three inches through trees, right? Yeah, yeah. that's why it's going to take you two turns. So instead, they're going to move. They're just going to move to the edge of the tree. Okay, huh. Uh, send the peasants in. Nope. <laughs> you know, these guys are super they're, lucky. They're within 12 inches of their boss. They can be rolled. Oh, you're right. They are now. Yeah, sorry, dudes. You're not lucky anymore. And then we will. I'm going to attempt to shoot with my uh, mounted archers. Six, really? That's rough. But they're right near my boss. I'm going to risk it. I need a six. Got it. Uh, that's going to be 12. My archery stuff is five. There's no cover. <clears throat> what is your armor? Uh, two only. Okay, so that is two. Okay. Twang. All right. So no. they have to make a courage roll. Okay, their courage is four. They're down they have two. no lost. They've only lost two. They have only lost yeah, two. That's the first time they've been in combat. Who? Nope. But that's they failed. Uh, what's this to find the final result though? That's what matters. Oh, um, three. Three. So it's not below zero. No. So they no. just fall back. So they move a half move backwards. They're not battered too. Oh yeah, I think they are actually. Um, but they're not. The other one is worse. Routed. Rough. If you would got less than zero, they'd be gone. But I think that's all I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. My turn. So the first thing you have to do is deal with the group with the battered. Right. So it's the same thing. They just basically have to do a... A five, was it? Roll. Oh. Well, it's down. It's down, down two. So it has to make four, but I lose two. So I just make it. Yep. So the batter oh, comes no. off, but that I does count as having activated. So we're going to start with them. And I lose. So you go. And they're within 12 inches oh. of the boss. Yep. Okay. We're here to back you up, peasantry. Keep fighting. Now the boss is going to move. We're going to go for those guys. You either have to do something brave or this is going to be a long battle. I know. We're going to try for a seven. All right. Made it. They're going to shoot. They're shooting who? Uh, your unit there in the woods. All right. Ugh. Not a good roll. Three. Don't get any. Really? No. I don't have four uh, oh. hits. All right. Onward. 
for God and So you're gonna do an attack? Alpha alf wind. You're doing yes. an attack? Okay, roll for your attack. I'm trying to remember what I need, but I'm sure it's less than eight. Yeah, it's a five. Okay, counter charge okay. is a seven. I did not get it. Oh, but I can re-roll. Because my boss is there. Got it. And you got it. So we're gonna hit in the middle. I think I'm short one man. Oh, it doesn't matter. I still go for 12. Oh, I need to move up. Yes, you do. Okay. I don't really want to do that, mm -hmm. but at least it gives me you get a better fours number. instead of fives. Right, and I only have fives and beyond at this. I think this is going to be bloody. I think it's going to go just the way I was saying. I think, I think the, I think the infantry units have an advantage because the cavalry, in particular, roll like that. You're four, right? Your armor? Oh, uh, three. Oh, three? I do two. And you're three also, right? Yeah. So I do two. I'm down four. Purge is, is four. I'm down four. And I rolled a six. So yeah, uh, that's going to put me to two. So I'm going to be battered and fall back. I lose three. My courage is four. But I make it. I just make it. I got seven. I think it's a bad idea to have a unit that's all cavalry. I think you need cavalry to hit people that have been hit badly already by foot. So it's my turn. I got to do the battered guys first. Uh, they are down four. They made it. That's a six, so they're okay. That comes off. They ain't going anywhere anyway, though. I don't, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to activate them for a shoot. That's a six. They got it. We're going to shoot at the same guys there. Yeah, they're going to whittle my guys down. They need fives. And those guys are... Twos. Twos. One, two, three, four, six. That's three. So now I have lost five of my members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's a little more tricky. I need a nine or above, don't I? Because there are four. Courage. Yeah, nine or above. Nope. But I'm not... You're Zero. At, you're at two, right? Yes. All right, so you're battered and fall back. Yep. So it's your half movement. Hey, these guys are not going to get close enough to them to do anything. That's it. Your turn. Okay. You got to do the battered first. Oh, you got to do the curve right. roll for the battered. Sorry. Uh, it needs to be a nine, it's a ten. Okay, they're going to go behind the rock. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go here. My command level with my king. I'm going to go in the woods. That's just three. But we are now in cover. These guys, these uh, archers who have been over here behind the rock this whole mm -hmm. time, they're going to activate. To move? To move. These, my upper class spearmen, they're gonna try. Five. Okay, they're gonna try. They may not make this, they may. I'm counter charging. Okay, so, so I'm gonna go three. Well, I have to, I have to roll it oh. first, but I got a oh. 10, so fours count. Ten. So I do one. They're fours, right? Armor uh, four? No, they were only armor three. Oh, well, same thing, I only got four, so Okay, it's, two, it's four. It's only five sixes. So I have two, which, which is the unit. Is the unit. And you have taken, what did they say, two? No, it was one. one. It was one. So I am at my half? No, I'm not half, but I'm at four down. So I need an eight or above to make my courage roll. Eight or above. Nope. I am, I didn't make it, but I'm not negative. I had a six, so, you so I am battered. battered. Fall back. Three, which puts me back where I just was. Archers moving and run for these woods. I. This is a three or below now. Come on, find him. No. <laughs> no. He's on the other side of the river. Oh my god. <laughs> 
right, I'm going to uh, roll for a charge for these guys. <laughs> of course you are. Charge is a five. They're going to die. Uh, I got it. Yeah, they're going to die because they have no armor. Because units in rough terrain, attack and defense, is five plus with an armor of two and less ferocious. I could evade. You can evade, by the way, yes. What do I have to do to evade? You have to roll seven. Okay. Yep. You can shoot and do a movement or do a movement and a shoot. Oh, I'll shoot first. Four sixes. But that's before I attack, probably. Right. Um, so based on my understanding of what that rule is saying, I lose two people. Oh, now you move. It's only half move. Okay. Back or anyway. Oh, wherever you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going this. No, I'm going back into these woods, actually. At least a What's... couple of them. Bam. Yep. So now we roll. Our defenses are fives all the way around. And my armor only counts as two, but that's still not enough. So I take one. Okay. And you took how many? Two. All right, so we have to roll. I'm down three. I'm going to have to retreat and be battered. I'm down two, but my courage is a five. Wow. I'm also down and battered. You're going to retreat to half a distance and be battered. Do you see why I'm saying I can't win this game? Right. Well, i got to roll for my leader. He's okay for lucky blow. They're going to shoot at them. At them? Yep. Okay. I have to roll to be able to shoot first. Fives. Yep. I need sixes now. No, it's the other way around. I needed sixes to shoot. I need fives now. Right. Two. That's probably not even hurting you because you guys are like armor three, right? What yes. a lousy roll. Yeah, that was. All right. And that's that's the only two units I even have. All right. <laughs> so it's your turn. Back to the peasants. My command element. Frankly, the most powerful, the most useful things in this game, I think, are archers. Yeah, I mean, I can't approach you because you're an archer. Let me do something with these poor guys. Uh, actually, they're battered too, aren't they? Yeah. So they should have rolled that at the beginning oh. of the turn, and that's all they can do. They made it. Did they? How many are you down? Two then. So that means you, what did you roll? A four and a two? So that would be a four. And their courage is a five, so they didn't make it. It's battered units. When a unit becomes battered, right? Place a marker, casually model, da da da. Must test to remove a battered marker. Rally at the beginning of the owning player's next activation phase. That's what you just did. May not activate other than to rally. That's what you just did. Mm -hmm. Uh, only can hit anim, uh, enemies on a six if it's attacked while battered. Uh, may only oh. move as a result of a failed courage test. I think I'll... what it's saying is you have to fall back. They are gone. Completely forgot about that roll. And I'm not. No, you, you won't be there. This is how you win the game. I have to roll for each unit, I believe. There's only two. That's not going to take long. The guys in the woods, their courage is four, but they're down two. Uh, so that's six, so they're okay. Uh, the other guys are not down at all. No. And their courage is also four. They'll make it. So they're fine. Your turn. Is it? Yep. All right. I'm going to activate to move the archers. Uh, eight. No! God damn it. You don't think that was a good idea? No. I wanted you to move forward. I think it was a brilliant idea. Oh, I should have actually rolled for their batter first. Okay. So they're at a negative two. Uh, five, I think, is it? I think you're Yeah, good. there were four. So they're fine. Your turn. God damn it. 
I know he is. In <laughs> fact, if those buildings open, I really want a figure of a medieval guy and a medieval wench drinking a beer mm -hmm. together at a table. Because that is where we're going to find them. Yeah, he's in there. Um, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay. Peasantry. Right. Send in the peasants when in doubt. Or, as we like to call them, arrow fodder. Upper class spearmen. Uh, that was the two. Yes, it was. So, no, it's your. Within 12. Oh, you're right. Upper class spearmen. So once a turn, but you've, we've, on, well, yes. we've only never, we've never had to do it twice. No. Okay. These guys are going to get on the road. They need to be three inches behind them. King is going to move a little. No, he isn't. I'm going to try to shoot my shooter dudes. They're at a six for, sh for activating on a shoot. They've got it. And they shoot. They're going to shoot at them. And fives. And that's only four. Yeah, okay. You've got <laughs> four of the six. I now roll on my... So my minus four, so that's going to be two. No, that's not That's, that's not how math works. It's going to be three. three. <laughs> they're, they're falling back and battered. Oh, you're right. What is their movement? Uh, eight, so they have to go back four. They get punished for their insolence. I'm going to try to activate the mounted guys in the woods there. The move, they activate on a five. I get a seven. They move for ten. Uh, they move for five because they're in the woods. That's a shame. They're not going to get out of here. Let's move that guy. Run away! Yeah, those ones are hiding. Should have done it the other way around. Mm. My turn's done. <laughs> okay. Duh. Oh, I just blocked my own, my shooting. We're going to start with the lower class spearmen. I got five. The next is going to be companions. My upper class spearmen, but they can't join them on the road because they'd be too close. You can just go here. Turn a little bit. My king and his companions. And again, they can't be closer than three inches. That's... No, he's not three back. Okay, your turn. I'm going to try to move Arturus for five. Jeez. Uh, but that is mm -hmm. the commander, so he can roll again. I can move all the way up to ten. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll just shy of it. And then be ready to storm at you when you come around the corner. And I'm going to shoot. Oh, I have to roll still. Uh, and I have to roll six, but I got it. Eight. So I need fives. Not good. I got one hit. That is lousy. Those guys have armor, don't Two. they? Two. Yeah, they're twos. These guys? Yes. Those aren't the... No, my these guys are threes. Oh, uh, so that's it. Thank you, God. That's going to cost me the game. Mm, thank you, God. I need to be whittling you down, and I'm not. Okay. So, lower class spearmen go first. They make it. Truth is, shooting is more effective than melee. These guys, um, the companions. The 
shooting is way more effective for you than mailing. I mean, shooting, you, you have no risk. The guys would get too close. They'd be right in between. That's not going to work. All right. So, your turn. I'm going to try to uh, activate the archers uh, to arch. They need six. Uh, they're going to roll again using Boss Boy's reroll. They get it. Let's try to roll better this time. Bad. fives. Bad. That is better. Not great, though. You say twos? Yes. They That's are two hits. So you have to roll a morale roll. Minus, uh, what do you have? One, two, three, okay. four, five. So you're minus uh, seven. seven. I'm minus seven. You might I as well roll first. Uh, well, now you'll want to check your number. Uh, it was a four. Because that's a high, high number. Yeah, so I think you made four. it. So oh my God. Seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, seven. Yeah, that'd be 11, right? So you made it by one. I'm going to activate my cavalry to attack. They do that on a five. They got it, which is good because I couldn't have rolled twice. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. This may be dangerous, but I could have just stayed there and been defensive, mm -hmm. but I don't, that doesn't seem right. You roll six. Right. Because you're less than half. Right. And my defense for them is a four. Um, I got three. Uh, three? Yeah. Uh, my armor is three, so that's one. I got, what is two your more. armor? Is your oh, armor's two? two? I got two. You got two more. So oh. now I'm down four for my morale. Okay, that would be four. My courage is four, so I'm fine. I'm negative. Yep, um, I am routed. Your less than zero, so they are gone. They are gone. But fine. you're still not at half, right? Of my total? No. Let me check. I have lost more than half. So you have to roll for that. Okay. Each group? Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with the companions. Yeah, yes. I made it. Yes, I yeah. made it because they're so courageous. Yeah, they're, they're good. Okay. Um, my next will be these two archers over here. So they're minus four. It's so they four. probably made it. No, they have to be a five. They missed it by one. Yeah. So they're still above zero. So they're battered. Uh, except they are battered. Oh, I never rolled for them to be um, battered. We should have actually rolled for them. Yeah. Even if you didn't do anything, you had to roll for that right. first last turn. Yeah, so you I might as well that. roll it. Okay. Four. Uh, minus four, so that would have been uh, that would have been a zero. So they would have been gone last turn. He's lost uh, five. So, so that's going to be four. He's a four. So he's okay. And now the other companion group. And they've lost nobody, right? Lost no one, and their courage is a three, so yeah. they're fine. And that's a companion group, right? Yes, this is a companion group. So they have better armor. And they're they're tougher. I'm going to try to move my uh, my companions in the Ford first. They move on a five. They got a five. I'm going to fall back, and that opens up my archers to shoot at your companions. Yeah. I have to roll for that. I have to roll a six. Uh, I got it. I shouldn't have used them. I should have put the other spearmen in front. I don't think you should have. I think you keep thinking about that backwards. I need fives to hit, so I only hit two, and those guys are threes. They're fours. Or fours, so that's nothing. That's why you're wrong. Yeah, because um, they're fours. If you had led with your weaker guys, yeah. I would hurt more of them. That's true. You'd end up making another morale roll. That's and true. And the only way I can win is by making you lose morale rolls. That's true. These guys, my companions, want to move forward. They can do so. I'm on the other side of the water. I don't think I could get into those trees now. That's too bad, because I still need to check the damn trees. I have to remember why I'm here. Yeah. And I really don't want to fight you in the trees. But these guys can finally get onto the road. Maybe. Yes. They could go up to here, but that's... That's just three inches, so they can go up to a tiny bit behind that. Heading towards the ford. Okay, 
my leader. It's going to move up too. Did you roll to see if I'd gotten the king before, King Arthur? Uh, I did not. You did not. Okay. I'll try to activate the archers first. They're going to try to shoot. They hit sixes. They've got it. Fives hit. <sighs> Luckily. Not enough. That armor is killer. All right, and I'm going to activate to move my... Uh, Companions in the road, they move on a five. I got an 11. Oh. I thought they were going to attack. Your turn. I'm going to roll for these. They're going to move and they make it. They are going to move into the woods. Okay. And then they're going to roll to see if they can finally find this guy. I won't even let the other guys go in. Okay, I want to roll. Mm -hmm. So I need a a two. And he's there. No, oh. he isn't. Oh, you're right. That's unbelievable. That's right. He's not. How he's... is that possible? The odds of that. You know where he is now. He's drinking with the wind, just like I just said in the said farmhouse. All right, I've got these guys. All they can do is sort of go part way, which isn't really good because it puts them right in the arrow. Roll for the king. Your turn. I'm going to attempt to activate the archers. They need six. They need fives, and that's killing me. The combination of needing fives in your armor. So, nope, not a thing. So your turn. I have really delayed nothing here by not hitting hitting anybody. I did take a unit out, but I want to attack these guys. All right. So you have to roll your attack. Attack is a five. What? Right. I thought it was going to be higher. Okay. Made it. I'm going to counter charge if I get a seven. Okay. You I did. did. My attack value is a three, which thank God, because I got a lot of threes. Still, one. Your three. armor is four though, right? Yeah. What <laughs> so, is your armor? So I did one and a half. I hit one of your guys. I did two uh, and a half. My armor is three. I did two and a half. So I lose two guys. I lose one guy. You lose one. I'm so sorry. you lost one and I lost two, right. right? So I have to fall back. I'll fall back first. Uh, I'm down two. So that's a five. And my courage is four. I'm fine. Right. One, I'm two, down three, one. One, two, three, four, five. You're down one. Oh my God. So that's a two. I didn't make it. But you got a two. Right. I'm, so I'm still above. you have to fall back directly away uh, half your distance, better. which I don't think you can do. Uh, I'd have to go into the woods. Yeah, I'll give you that. That helps you. You are battered. Yeah, you failed yeah. your roll. That's that right. helps you because I will not be able to do anything with them next time. And I won't be able to move my other guys forward because they'd be too close. I'm going to activate my archers to shoot. They fail. I have to roll a second time. They make it the second time. That means I do not have that for the boss, though. I have to use him. Mm -hmm. And one hit. Not enough to do anything. That's really hurting me. So I need a five to attack with my mounted companions. I got a seven. And because I'm battered. That's why I'm doing it. Battered units hit on a six. You have to hit roll ah, sixes. Wow. I, on the other hand, have fours. Still didn't hurt you. No, I only have two sixes. 
So I have to fall back half distance because I didn't win. Nobody loses anybody. Uh, your turn. First thing I have to do is roll for the bat. That's why I'm going to six. I've lost one person. Yeah, so that's five. Five, I'm fine. My courage is three. So that comes off. Okay. But I can't do anything. Yeah, but that's off. Right, but it's your you're, turn. You're going to be a... Oh, you can't move anyone else. No, the they're too close. You, I'm going to try to shoot again. I'm going to have to roll again for that. Got it. That Ford is creating a huge bottleneck. Um, Got a lot that time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's just one. Yep. So you lose one more guy. So I'm going to go ahead and try to attack. So I need fives. I wasn't going to do this, but I think it's worth it since you did lose somebody. Right. I, it may not be worth it because if I lose anybody, I'm down again. I am defense this time, so I, I don't go on threes. I go on fours. I got a great roll. Oh, great. <laughs> Every single one hit. Oh my god. I wish you had less armor. I'm on fours, I said, right? You are a three on armor? Yeah, so, so I, I got one. one. I did, you were three or fours. You were fours. fours, right? So we both do, we both we lose both one. We both lose one. Uh, but Puts I don't have half. lots. Well, I have to king. roll for my king. For my, uh, king. He makes it. Gonna, I have to fall back. And then we both roll for the terrifying morale roll here. I am minus five. And I do not make it. They're gone. King's gone too. Yeah, that's going to be another morale roll. Okay. That's two more morale rolls. So the first one, they're down two. That may be it. That's a three for just four. Oh. Game's over. Well, there you have it. Land Wasters and Raven Feeders expansion for Lion Rampant. A couple of remarks I would like to make about the game. Uh, this was not the best forces for this particular scenario. The Romano Brits were almost entirely cavalry. There's a lot of negatives to that. I think you want to do a more balanced uh, force in this game. The, uh, the problem is that all your cavalry units, your cavalry units and your skirmish units are all six-man units, whereas almost everything else in, you, in the game is 12. And it causes your little units, your cavalry units, to be really, really fragile. If this was a race game or something where the horse speed would have given me an advantage, there may have been some advantage to that, but I think normally what you want is to combine your foot and, and horse and just have some horse to, to come down on the damaged opponent. Uh, so that, that affected this game in a negative way. In a similar fashion, the bad luck uh, that Carrie had that uh, kept preventing her from finding the fugitive, uh, that hurt her. But in the end, her force had the advantage over mine and was likely to win. Uh, you'll notice that we played a variation. We gave everybody commander. I've done that. The single biggest complaint that I've heard from people regarding Lion Rampant, and I've witnessed this myself, I had it in the game with the club, is that it's, it can happen that you keep failing your activation rolls uh, and you lose your turn if you fail your activation rolls. And we had a game, again, it was a race game, uh, and me and uh, my friend playing together against two other friends, we kept rolling poorly on activation rolls. We had four whole turns in a row that we couldn't activate anything, uh, which gave a complete advantage to the enemy. Now, normally I really like games that use friction, and so I'm, I'm against getting rid of this rule entirely. I've noticed in some of the later versions of the, these rules, uh, Lion Rampant has, has exists now in slightly altered versions in several forms. Um, Lion Rampant and Dragon Rampant, of course, being pretty much the same Dragon Rampant as the fantasy version. But they have also have now periods for doing 19th century uh, with uh, All the King's Men, uh, the, for Revolution War, and he's changed the activation rules. And I think that's part of why he's done that. And I need to go through and decide which of those I like best and see how I'd like to change if I play Lion Rampant or continue to play with Lion Rampant. And there's some question there too. I enjoy the game Lion Rampant. Uh, I, I do find it uh, fun to play. It's really easy to pick up, really easy to to learn and to teach other people to play. Uh, but as a medieval game, I, I think I actually prefer Baron's War and um, never mind the Bill Hooks. Never mind the Bill Hooks is uh, War of the Roses, so it's kind of the very end of the period. But uh, I think I like the rule systems for that best. But these are still fun and uh, very enjoyable. And like I say, incredibly easy to pick up. You, I haven't played this game in a couple of years. and. Uh, 
it comes right back up. You don't have to look at charts very often. You start to memorize what you need pretty quickly. It's a, it's a worthwhile product and it's, uh, it's worth trying. If any of you have played Lion Rampant and you have your uh, own opinions you'd like to share with us here on our comment section, I hope you will go ahead and do that. Uh, also, if you have any ideas for further content you'd like to see us present here on Cry Havoc Wargaming, we look in the comment section for that. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll hit like. And if you'd like to continue to receive notifications for videos like this one that may help you determine how to better spend your money and your time in your tabletop wargaming hobby, I hope that you'll hit subscribe and ring our notification bell. Until next time, cheers.